right so today we are studying one of the poems of songs of innocence by william blake a pre romantic poet the shepherd the na- name of the poem is the shepherd so as we all know that's in 1789 songs of innocence came and along with songs of experience with the title the songs of innocence and of experience came in 1794 and ralph vaughan williams was the person who gave music to this particular poem in 1958 in his song cycle 10 blake songs so this was the person who gave song or who gave music and made it a song the poem shepherd the shepherd all right so it was one of the three pastoral poems of songs of uh, songs of innocence and other two being number 1 the lamp and number 2 spring so these were two poems which were also pastoral poems and the shepherd is also one of them so total three poems were there so now come to the poem the shepherd so as you can see here the person is standing below a vine wrapped tree along with his herd herd of sheep so we all know that william blake was an engraver an illustrator and a very good artist so he he engraved and illustrated his own poems like this so the painting right now you are seeing is the original painting and the original illustration by william blake of this particular poem and there are two only two stanzas is this in this poem jaisa ki aapko dikh raha hai choti si poem hai do stanzas hai right to now let's come to the poem the shepherd there are only two stanzas very simple poem and william blake was known for his his simple style of writing very simple and very rhythmical that ralph vaughan williams and many other people gave music to his poems and we can sing his poems as well just like how sweet is the shepherd's sweet lot from the morn to the evening he strays he shall follow his sheep all the day and his tongue shall be filled with praise for he hears the lamb's innocent call and he hears the ewes tender reply he is watchful while they are in peace for they know when their shepherd is nigh so how beautiful and how innocent this poem is so it is showing that the shepherd and the herd of sheep is very innocent so we can see this poem by the piper's perspective as well and in his other poems we see that there is a piper or uh, he is requesting the child the christ uh, and sometimes a very little boy is requesting the piper that play your song and uh, let us all rejoice and uh, filled with all the pleasures of life and nature and innocence just like that a piper's perspective we can see here so now i'll go line to line explanation i'll go with that how sweet is the shepherd's sweet lot so now here the sweet lot means the piper the song of that piper which is here related to this particular shepherd ki bhai kitna meetha hai us shepherd ka jo sweet lot hai and this lot is here also the herd of sheep right from morn to the evening he strays means from morning to evening he wanders wo apni jo uski bhede hain unko charata hai just like shepherds do idhar se udhar ghumte hain kabhi us jangal mein kabhi us jangal mein subah se lekar sham tak wo ghumte rehte hain wander karte hain aur apni jo uski jo sheep hai usko wo charata hai he shall follow his sheep all the day and his tongue shall be filled with praise so now the people belonging to the age of uh, william blake must be feeling very odd by reading that a shepherd is following his sheep not the sheep but the shepherd is following the sheep so this is something odd here but we can relate it later and his tongue shall be filled with praise means he praises his sheep so much he loves them so much he likes them so much right so if we see that in first stanza it is full of joy which mirrors the innocent nature of his poem 
we are seeing that his joys the sweet lot is there and they are wandering with happiness and uh, he is following his sheep and he is praising his sheep so this is full of joy and very innocent right so shepherd is as a caring and protective force over his herd so इसे यहाँ दिखाया गया है कि शेफर्ड जो है बहुत ख्याल रखता है अपनी जो भेड़े हैं उस उनका बहुत ख्याल रखता है उनसे बहुत प्यार करता है उनकी बहुत केयर करता है है ना सो शेफर्ड इज फॉलोइंग हिज हर्ड विच इज ऑड एज आई टोल्ड यू सो नाउ लेट्स गो फर्दर फॉर ही हियर्स द लैम्प इनोसेंट कॉल एंड ही हियर्स द यूज टेंडर रिप्लाई तो वो जो है वो लैम्प्स की जो आवाज़ें सुनता है जो वो उसको पुकार रहे हैं या फिर हम ये भी कह सकते हैं दैट दीज लैम्प्स आर कॉलिंग यूज एंड यूज आर फीमेल शीप एंड द शेफर्ड इज लिसनिंग टू यूज रिप्लाई एज वेल एंड द अदर शीप आर आल्सो लिसनिंग टू दैट वेरी टेंडर रिप्लाई वेरी सॉफ्ट रिप्लाई वेरी यू नो फुल ऑफ लव राइट बहुत ही नाजुक नजाकत से बहुत ही मुलायम तौर से ही इज वॉचफुल वाइल दे आर इन पीस for they know when their shepherd is nigh so he is watchful means this shepherd is very watchful means wo unka bahut hi usne nazar rakhi hai un pe he is looking after them with peace and with love with care and all these things so jab wo soye hain when they are in peace wo unka khayal rakh raha hai ki koi tendua na aa jaye koi sher na aa jaye unhe khane ke liye hai na is tarike se for they know when their shepherd is nigh nigh ka matlab yahan hai nigh means near in proximity proximity jo hai wo nazdeeki se matlab distance related hota hai to jab wo nazdeek hota hai to it means that shepherd uh, these sheep are also very relaxed that the shepherd is near means he is caring for them so much and he loves them so much and these sheep also love him so much just like a child loves his mother and a mother loves her child just in the same way the shepherd loves his sheep and sheep love their shepherd and as you can see the one thing is there that the shepherd in first line and the shepherd in last line is in capital the s is capital i mean so here it symbolizes christ it means shepherd is also like christ means just like god protects us in the same way shepherd is protect protecting his sheep राइट right? तो ये एक भगवान की फिगर भी यहाँ दिखाई गई है कि भगवान की तरह है एक शेफर्ड जो कि उनका इतना ख्याल रख रहा है जैसा कि हमारा भगवान ख्याल रखता है जो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स है या फिर और जो एनिमल्स है उसी तरह शेफर्ड भी जो है अपनी जितनी भी भेड़े हैं उनका इतने प्यार से ख्याल रख रहा है तो बाइबल में इन बाइबल शेफर्ड प्रेजेंस इज टेकन एज रिप्रजेंटेटिव ऑफ गाइडेंस क्योंकि वो उन्हें रास्ता दिखाता है ही शोज द वे टू शेफर्ड जस्ट like god shows us the way so here shepherd is as a spiritual guide or a savior of the herd so he is a spiritual guide he is guiding the herd he is guiding the sheep that what to do and when to sleep and when to eat is tarah se aur unka bahut hi khayal rakh raha hai jaise ki ek maa apne bacche ka khayal rakhti hai waise hi and sheep and shepherd protects uh, protect each other as well तो वो भी जैसा बच्चा अपनी माँ का जो है प्यार करता है उसको बचाता है जब वो बड़ा हो जाता है उसी तरह शेफर्ड भी उनका ख्याल रख रहा है और शीप भी उससे इतना प्यार करती इतना लगाव है उन लोगों के बीच में कि वो मज़ा ही कुछ और है उसका तो ये सारी चीज़ें हैं इसमें छोटे से पो हमें बहुत ही सिंपल है मैंने ज़्यादा टाइम ले लिया वो अलग बात है तो अगर मैं इसको आपको एक ट्रांसलेट करके बताऊँ इफ़ आई ट्रांसलेटेड तो हिंदी में चरवाहे कितने मीठे और मज़ेदार होते हैं मीठे का मतलब है उनका म्यूजिक और उनका शेफर्ड के प्रति प्यार देखो खुले में रहते हैं वो उनके पास कुछ नहीं है बाहर ही सोते हैं बाहर ही खाते हैं और कितना प्यार करते हैं वो अपने उनसे भेड़ों से सुबह से शाम तक वो टहलते हैं वो पूरे दिन अपनी भेड़ों का पालन करेगा और उसकी जीव प्रशंसा से भर जाएगी है ना उसी तरह से जैसे लिखा है उसी को ट्रांसलेट किया है मैंने थोड़ा क्योंकि वह मेमने को निर्दोष और मासूम कहता है और वह इवस का प्यार भरा जवाब भी सुनता है 
वो भी सुनते हैं भेड़े भी सुनती है और वो भी सुनता है मेल जो है वो भी सुनते हैं ये भी सुनता है जब वे शांति में होते हैं तो चरवाहा सतर्क रहता है और वे भी जानते हैं कि उनका चरवाहा चरवाहा करीब है तो कितनी 